All right. What is up, tycoons? What's up, traders? Super excited for today's video. Coming at you guys with a viewer request. I do those every single week. We're looking at MakerDAO right now, okay? Ticker symbol MKR. And in today's video, we're going to go over the major price levels that you need to be paying attention to, some of the bearish price targets that we could hit if we continue this bearishness, and the major levels to watch out for in case we do get a rally, we need to break through these levels right here to get some type of a reversal. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll go ahead and start the video. We're going to take a look at the MACD, and we're also going to look at the relative strength index as well. OK, in this video, it's not financial advice. Again, this is actually going to be more informational and you'll learn the different signals that I use to take day trades, swing trades and how you can further understand price action and see if we're in a bearish trend and continuing that bearish trend and just getting a healthy pop or if we're getting a possible reversal. OK, uh, so we're going to jump straight into it. Um, I'll break down the current levels that we're looking at and really paying attention to. We have our breakout level here in blue. All right. This is going to be 654, roughly 655. That was our previous low right here. Uh, this is the 100 percent level on the FIB tool. OK, so I like to make this my blue level. And below there, it's going to give us some valid price targets, okay? I look at the 127.2, the 141.4, and the 161.8. These three levels are generated using mathematical formulas. And whether you think about it or, you know, you respect it or not, about 70% of trading is done by algorithms, okay? This is in the cryptocurrency market. This is in the stock market, okay? These large institutional people, these whales, uh, these people with billions and in, in tons of millions of dollars, they're setting up algorithms to buy and sell off of certain signals and certain indicators, okay? So price action is naturally going to be attracted to these levels, uh, not only because of that, but because the FIB is just a natural mathematical formula that exists throughout all of nature, okay? It exists in space, it exists in seashells, in trees, everything, okay? So it's really, really one of my favorite tools to use. And as you can see, we broke through our blue breakout level and we're finding support here at our first major support level of 515.98. Now there is a possible chance we could get a bounce due to something known as bullish divergence. So if you're not familiar with bullish divergence, we're gonna highlight these three circles right here, okay? And it's going to teach you guys some very simple terms. Uh, this is a low, right? This is a lower low. And then this right here is a lower low again. So clearly this token is in a downtrend heading lower and decreasing in price. But the relative strength index, obviously, that's going to be measuring the relative strength of your token, but at its given price level. So as the price has been dropping, the strength of this token has made a low, a higher low, and then a higher low. And notice how many times we've bounced off this trend line. We bounced here, 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 we bounced here. And each one of these points is a good spot for you to possibly take an entry for a swing trade or a day trade. Now, the reason being is because of that bullish divergence. It doesn't indicate that you're going to get a massive move, right? And there's no way to predict if it's gonna be a 5% move or a 50% move, but let's just take a look at the data, right? So right here, we get our first bullish divergence. We have the low, we have the lower low, and we get our first bounce off of this trend line. We get a very nice move to the upside, 87% from the lows to the highs, and at any point in between here, you could have taken profit, right? Nobody's going to be perfect and enter exactly here at the bottom, and nobody's going to be perfect and enter exactly here up at the top. But we had a very nice bullish divergence indicating we could see some bullish activity. Now, one thing I want to highlight is look at where we got rejected. We got rejected at our major retracement levels. Those are going to be the 61.8, the 50%, and the 38.2 retracement levels. Um, so the way you work, the way you use this and make it work is nothing moves in a straight line down and nothing moves in a straight line up. What happens if something's in a downtrend, it goes down, it retraces up, and then it continues that downtrend. So that's exactly what we're seeing right here. We're seeing we have a sharp downtrend. We get a perfectly healthy retracement to the three major retracement levels. In this case, we hit our 50% retracement level. We come down, we retrace up, and we continue that trend, and we make a lower low. So that's really how you use the FIBs. That's why it's so crucial. If we would have broken through these levels, right, 
And as soon as you break through your major retracement levels, that's when you can spot a possible reversal happening, okay? Um, but instead, we actually come down, make a low, retrace up, create a lower low, and look what we do again. We make a bullish divergence, and we bounce off of this trend line. Um, now, one thing I do want to highlight is a bullish divergence, just because you're bouncing off the trend line doesn't mean necessarily it's a bullish divergence, okay? Uh, the reason being is because right here, this low is higher than this low. So naturally, the relative strength index should be a little bit higher according to this spot, respectively, right? So even though there was a one day candle, you know, that that popped right here because we touched this bullish divergence trend line, you see you don't get as strong as a, of a move, right? It actually happens once you make the low, the lower low. And here we got the lower low and then we got the bounce off of the trend line. And we see yet again, we have another massive move to the upside, right? If you take a look here from the lows to the highs, 98%. And again, you don't have to be a perfect trader. You can wait for us to get back above our blue breakout level and continue showing strength and take the trade. Or as it's coming through here and kind of bull flagging, right? Because if we zoom in even more, this kind of looks like a little bull flag, right? I'll go ahead and draw it for you guys real quick. But here's our flagpole. And then here's the little flag right here. We get the nice consolidation and then break out to the upside. So there's multiple ways you can trade and enter off of these strategies. But these are all some very good strategies that you should start to use. Now we're going to go through another example of bullish divergence and how it really works. Um, you know, so over here, you can see we have a low. Here's our initial low, right? We have a low right here. The relative strength index is very low. All right, we continue over. Now we do go up a little bit and get a bounce right here. But again, the uh, the price of this token is actually up. So this isn't a bullish divergence. The divergence occurs over here. All right, once we start to make these lower lows, we have the low, we have a lower low right here, and we get a nice bounce off of the trend line right here. So we see we come up, we get a nice push. And again, a very nice rally off of the uh, price of this token from the lows to the highs. This was another nice move, about 45%. And what do we do? We end up reversing, coming back down, making a new lower low, bouncing off of the relative strength index uh, bullish divergence trend line again. And we get another nice move from the lows to the highs of 65%. So this is why I really pay attention and focus on these strategies. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is actually going to be the MACD, okay? So pay attention to uh, this right here. This is going to be our MACD uh, indicator. We'll zoom in on it a little bit and make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for everyone to see and truly process the concept and understand what's going on. So <clears throat> what you're looking for is entry signals and exit signals. Now, me particularly... I strictly, almost strictly use this for exit signals, right? It's no secret. It's a bear market. It's been a brutal crypto winter. So a lot of times, you know, um, we're going to keep dropping, right, until we get out of this phase. Also, one thing I want to mention is price drops much faster than it rises, okay? Um, you know, notice how we're rising here, and it's really just chopping and going higher. When we drop, there's oftentimes sharp drops and you know the drops are going to come at a quicker pace than it would going up so the macd sell signal is going to be when this red line right here crosses below our white line so right here we get a sell signal all right and then after that we get a very very sharp move to the downside if we take a look that was a drop of 53 percent to those lows now ultimately it did drop lower but we had the bullish divergence um and it start right there and we got a nice little pop Okay, now over here is another example of a MACD sell signal. So right about here, we end up getting our sell signal, okay? And the red line crosses below the white line. And also we came up and hit our 50% retracement level. So <clears throat> our first sign that we could have some bearishness is that we're rejecting our major retracement level and we're in a downtrend. So most likely we're going to continue this. So that's number one. That's our first weapon that we're using to give us an advantage on the battlefield that's known as cryptocurrency. I like to say it's like trading. Uh, trading is like going to battle. It's like going to war. Okay, You need to have the proper weapons, as many weapons as you can, and you need to know how to use them to increase your odds of success on the battleground. Now, uh, after we get the rejection, look at what we do. We get a MACD sell signal right here. And shortly afterwards, we get a very, very sharp move to the downside. Right, We, we drop down 45%. Over here, we're seeing the same thing. 
We're still right around our major retracement levels. We're still rejecting those. Okay, we break through the 38.2, get close to the 50%. And what do we see? We get a MACD sell signal right here. And a lot of times it's coinciding with breaking this uh, level right here. And ultimately we get another very sharp drop to the downside. All right, from the highs to the lows right there, that's a 50% drop, all right? And currently, we're at a major support level uh, of 515.98. We're testing this level. There's no guarantees that we're going to, um, you know, get a strong bounce here. But I am looking to see if we're going to start showing a little bit of strength as we're testing this bullish divergence trend line that we've been bouncing off of, right? And we're still above it, so there's still a little bit of room to drop. But as soon as we come down and break through this level, you can expect MakerDAO most likely to head back down to 443.43. Uh, the reason being is the more times you test any trend line, the weaker it gets. And you can see we've tested this trend line many, many times already. Uh, we've tested it one, two, three, four, five, five slash six, because we got two bounces there. So it is showing great strength and we are doing a good job of bouncing off this trend line. But just keep in mind that the more times you test the trend line, the weaker it gets. Um, so, you know, there is more of a likelihood that we'll break it. So we really want to see this uh, RSI bullish divergence trend line continue to head upwards and continue to hold the support level. And then we also want to pay attention to see if we can get above 515.98, as that's our major support level. We are below it right now, uh, but the day's not over, right? And time hasn't passed. So we're going to see, are we going to be able to get another bounce off of the bullish divergence, or are we going to break this major support level and break our bullish divergence trend line and head back down lower? Now, if we do get a very nice rally, uh, as we've done multiple times off of this bullish divergence, these are the three major retracement levels we have to watch out for. Because if we after this sharp move to the downside, it would make a lot of sense for us to have a healthy retracement to the upside. So you really need to be cautious at 763, 840, and 918. If we do get that rally and we're up here at these levels, pay attention to that MACD. Look at the MACD and look to see if you get a sell signal. If you do protect the trade or possibly enter some short positions, uh, whatever you know your type of trading standard is. But hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget I do viewer requests every single week. So if you want to see your next cryptocurrency uh, or your cryptocurrency in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below and I'll be happy to make a video for you on it as soon as I can. And I really appreciate you if you made it this far. Go ahead and click on one of these next two videos because I think you'll enjoy those as well.